What's up guys, it's your boy from acemadden.com and today I'm going to show you guys how to limit trips tight end out of nickel 335. And this is, to me, the most flexible defensive formation you can use against what might easily be the best offensive formation in the game. Trips tight end out of the New England Patriots playbook. So, why is trips tight end so good? Well, it has some of the best routes. It has the ability to put a running back at tight end. Uh, you can throw table routes for days for the, for the most part. Um, it's just really, really good. It's a air it out kind of offense. I would say the inside zone is pretty decent too. So it makes sense that everybody uses trips tight end or a lot of people do. So what I'm going to do is show you how to stop a couple of these plays or at least my mindset versus these two plays. These are the most common setups, I would say. These are not the be all end all. We're not going to be stopping double and sale and PA counter go every single route combo with one setup. It's just not going to happen. But what I'm going to do is show you how to limit, you know, the, the common setups and how to limit the money routes. So in this case, we'll talk about double and sale first. And we're going to go over three, three, five safeties at linebackers a must. We have to match their speed with our speed. You can put, you know, a good man coverage corner here but for the most part we just want speed everywhere and then of course your best pass rushers uh before i get into the breakdown i just want to let you guys know that i'm in the oakland raiders playbook right now and i broke down this playbook entirely on my website acemadden.com it's my oakland raiders defensive ebook i break down four three wide nine four four nickel normal three three five double a gap and wide nine which is my favorite formation in the game however i don't think it's the best versus trips tight end uh, but I do think we have the best sheds in the game out of this. We can do all-out pressure, and we can do the illusion of pressure. So we can do a lot of flexibility with wide nine. And actually, to me, the best cross-man coverage out of wide nine. Sorry, I got to clarify. 3-3-5 has the best cross-man coverage in the game because we can do it with our linebackers. But we have a really good cross-man play out of nickel wide nine. Just wanted to clear that up. So we'll do Tampa 2. And one thing to keep in mind is we have the ball in the right hash mark. Most people run the trips to the wide side. So our slot cornerback is currently on the wide side. However, we can't just not ever flip our play. Like if the ball's on the left hash, they're going to run the trips to the right. We have to flip our play and have the slot corner on the other side of the field. I just want to let you guys know that because most people do flip depending on where the ball is. So... What I want to do first is get you guys in the mindset of what receivers can really hurt you. You have to prioritize, you know, what you want to take care of. In my opinion, I think B is the most harmful guy in the field because he runs a deep corner. He can run a deep crosser. He can hit you up the seam. He is the guy that can just completely destroy you if you're not being mindful of him. Uh, next, I would say it's probably A, who's going to be a tight end or a running back. And then number three, I would say, is the running back in the backfield. Because of table routes, you know, he can run a streak, um, option routes. To me, he's number three. X is probably the least valuable. People like to motion him a lot. So just keep in mind what guys you think are the most dangerous. I think it's pretty objective. Most people could agree that B is the most harmful guy. So we're going to man him up. And what that's going to do is take away... A streak it's gonna take away his deep corner out out of double and sale um, it's gonna do a good job if he's on a drag um, sure the drags gonna get open but you know he'll be there to make the tackle um, the only thing it doesn't take away is a deep crosser out of PA counter go but we will talk about that uh, next what we're gonna do is shade underneath give us hard flats and then I'd probably put a Clyde flat back on the left side of the field um, after this, what I like to do usually is, you know, man up. Actually, I'd man him up on the running back, man this guy up on a tight end. And then depending on who they have at quarterback, if they have a lethal guy, you know, they will have room to run with him because we're only sending three in this case. You can put him on a spy. So how do most people set up this play? They usually put like Y on a streak to clear out the zones for the deep corner. They leave the table route because, you know, it's an easy throw. But we're going to take that away completely. And then they also have the corner route from the tight end or running back, whatever they have. But Y is usually not going to be a read. 
the only guy who's going to be open in this case is going to be X. Go ahead. Sorry, I have hiccups. Nice pass rush. We're going to have really good sheds here. And you're going to see that everything, for the most part, is taken away. Sure, look at this guy here. Does he get separation? Yeah, but it, trust me, it's not as much separation as you think. That's going to be a, a catch in traffic. Um, he's not always going to get this kind of separation. Um, I feel comfortable leaving that there until they show me that they're going to consistently throw it and it's going to get open consistently. Main thing over here is, you know, is that open? No. Believe me or not, believe it or not, that's not open. And look at Jones. He just gets completely crossed up. It's not open. That's going to be an errant throw, overthrow most of the time. So if I get the time in the pocket, I'm going to show you that, you know, I could throw that. Sorry, can't throw that. Okay, let's see if I can get time in the pocket. I can't. Let me go ahead and put this kind of spy because I want to show you guys that we're going to take it away. You guys can, of course, learn the quick adjustments as well. I'll go ahead and leave the cloud flat over there just because I want to show you that the corner route is taken away. And you can see he, you know, he caught that in, in traffic. It's not a good throw. We have Tom Brady. He's going to throw as accurately as possible most of the time. But in most cases, it's going to be errant. You can also click on and swat that away. That is not open whatsoever. That is not a good throw. So what we're going to do at this point is talk about, you know, a few of the other setups. You know, some people like to do like a max protect kind of thing. And if you're consistently sending three, they're not going to do something like this because there's no need. There's no need for them to block seven, but they'll usually max protect drag A. And we'll show you that for the most part, we are taken care of. I'm just showing you the man up on B one more time. You can see that was contested. So to me, that's the best way to take care of double and sale because of the fact that we take away the deep corner. We don't have to use him. Tight end was open because we didn't man him up. We just did the man up on the corner. Cause I'm going to show you that not a good idea. Not a good idea to throw that. So there's a couple other things you have to keep in mind. The setup we just did is good. However, it's not going to stop the entire formation. Because if they run PA shot wheel, they could kind of cross us up because of the fact that we're not manning up on Y. Keep that in mind. The other play we're going to talk about is PA counter go. We'll do the exact same setup just to show you that we can deal with B, A, and RB. So how do most people set this up? They usually do something like... Drag A, block your running back. And, you know, some people will like motion this guy in to block or something. But we'll go ahead and leave him on his, his route. So your responsibility immediately is to run with the deep crosser. Because he's going to beat the man coverage. Sure, can you take him away with AI completely? Yeah, you can, and I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing you do on every single snap is you're going to look at B. You're going to see what kind of route is he on. As soon as you see him take this like step inside like this, you're going to notice a deep cross. And you're going to be like, oh, shit, I got to run with this. Otherwise, it's a touchdown. Okay, so everything else is taken away. This guy, you know, you could actually quick throw him up the seam. But if your opponent misses that, what I'd like to do. So what I like to do is start off with a spy just in case, you know, they're run heavy. But, you know, I can also take him away and do something like this. Didn't mean to leave the play action on. You can see everything's taken away. Your responsibility is that crosser. So here's the thing. We're sending three every time. Is that ideal? Well, I wouldn't say it's ideal. However, that's all you need to send is three. 
Uh, the sheds are really good out of this, and you can make it work by sending three, but you do need to send pressure sometimes. So we can't always just man up this slot corner. Sometimes we want to leave him on his blitz. In that case, you're going to man up with B and then do everything else. So something like this. Um, Actually, sorry. Something more like this. get a little bit more pressure you can see that he actually comes in mix it up by sending him sometimes not sending him um as far as the deep crosser goes you can't take him away with a cross man however you know if you're gonna do that you're gonna have to double cover him because if they're on a double in sail this guy's not gonna get over and defend the corner so you're gonna have to like slice cover him by doing this um, and then after that, you know, you have a little bit more limitation, you know, you have to put him on RB, put him on A, and then focus on anything coming to the middle of the field. So you're going to see in this case, if they have Tyreek Hill, you know, they can outrun this cross man. Just want to put that out there. But as you can see, he does get completely taken away by the cross man. And pretty much everything's taken away. Because the nice thing is, in this case, we have the uh, running back manned up. And once he stays into block, you know, he's going to come rush the passer. Everything in this case is taken away. So these are just a few concepts I wanted to share with you. Is this going to shut down trips completely? Like I've said, no, it's not going to. Because some people have some crazy route combos that they'll mix in. But I just want to let you guys know that you do you have to prioritize take away the main guys that make them feel comfortable the main guys that are basically the money routes and you're going to be in much better shape that's all i wanted to show today so hope you guys enjoyed that please drop a like if you did subscribe for daily Madden 19 content if you guys want a new defense check out acemadden.com oakland raiders defensive playbook see you guys later